I am such a feeler. I just want to contribute in any way that I can. Directly across the street from the scene of a deadly apartment fire, Becca Olson Kling begins to build a memorial in honor of the two men who died. It's been very overwhelming. I just live across the street, and so I was here, I witnessed a lot of things. The fire Becca witnessed killed 31-year-old Seth Thompson and 31-year-old Richard Gramillion, identified by authorities Wednesday. Becca did not know Seth personally, but she certainly knew of him. There was like a little clearing through the trees. I could see that he would sit up there. And so, yeah, I never officially met him, but just knowing that he was there, um, yeah, it's it's been really heartbreaking to, to know that he went through this. They were sweet people, good people. Talisha Brown lived at the Heidi Manor Apartments and lost everything in the July 4th fire. She's beyond grateful to have escaped with her life, but she grieves for the men who passed and the 25-year-old woman critically injured. I had love for everyone here, so I'm very sad that Seth lost his life and for the uh, other gal that severely burned and for the other guy, my neighbor downstairs, who lost his life. They were so innocent. They did not deserve that, so that's who my heart goes out to. I have been doing this a long time. Unfortunately, I have seen large fires like this. Anytime there's a loss of life, it's tragic. Fire investigator Rob Garrison says Wednesday morning was the first time investigators were able to get beyond the tape and into the scene. He says the scene is so large and the collection of evidence so tedious, the ATF is assisting. They're looking for clues, anything that's out of the ordinary, any um, ignition source. If they find an ignition source, they have to rule that out or they have to determine whether or not this is a possible cause. Garrison says fireworks could be to blame as there were plenty of reports of them in the hours leading up to the blaze. He says smoking or shoddy electrical work could be factors as well. Regardless, I would love to have some answers. I know our community, the folks who live there would love to have answers. In the meantime, neighbors are thinking about the men who died, the woman injured, and the others left without a home. My heart is with them. I know this community is so amazing and will help them recover. Detectives are confident there are people out there who have critical information about what happened here on the morning of July 4th. If that is you, you are urged to contact the Portland Police Bureau. There may even be some reward money available through Crime Stoppers.